But the Supreme Court has dismissed an application filed by the Special Prosecutor Martin Amido, which sought to enforce the Attorney General uh, to retrieve judgment debt owed Waterville Holdings. The Apex Court, in his ruling, described the application as incompetent and had no basis or any rule of law. Godfrey Tanam reports. Martin Amidu, as a private citizen, dragged the Attorney General to the APS court, arguing that the state had failed to carry out the court's order to retrieve the judgment debt paid illegally to the construction company Waterville Holdings. During the last sitting, the court ordered the two parties to cooperate so that the state could retrieve the 47 million euro wrongfully paid to Waterville Holdings. This order was made after Martin Amidu told the court he had documents which could assist the state to retrieve the money. Martin Amidu, appearing in court on Wednesday, submitted some documents to the court indicating they were the documents to assist the Attorney General carry out his mandate by retrieving the money. Deputy Attorney General Godfrey Yabu Adame, who represented the state, told the court to dismiss the earlier application by Martin Amidu, which sought to compel the AG to go after the money. According to him, the application was incompetent and had no merit. A clash between Deputy AG and Martin Amidu ensued when Godfrey Yabu Adame told the court there was no evidence that the AG refused to cooperate with Martin Amidu to carry out the order by the court to retrieve the money from the defaulter. Godfrey Dame insisted it was Martin Amidu who was not cooperating with the Attorney General and leaking information to the media. This did not go down well with the special prosecutor who said the Deputy Attorney General was disrespecting him and calling him a liar. The court in this ruling insisted the order to retrieve the money has already been given four years ago and it will be improper for the same court to give another order. It therefore dismissed the application, describing it as incompetent and having no basis in any rule of law. As far as I'm concerned, what is on the record that it should enforce the judgment? We have achieved what we want.